Do you like watching movies? I am a movie buff, but what is your take on movies? Are the movies only about what we see on screen? It's not. There is a lot than what our eyes just catch. Well, the story Patol Babu Film Star that we are going to read this time revolves around one such small time artist. Well, it was written by the imminent filmmaker Satyajit Ray. By the way, do you know that he is the first and only Indian filmmaker to receive the honorary Academy Award or the Oscar for a Lifetime Achievement in the year 1992? Born on 2nd May 1921, in the family of writers of repute, it was but natural that he became a prolific writer himself. He wrote and made films in Bengali, Hindi and other languages. Ray, as he is popularly known, is widely regarded as one of the greatest filmmakers of the 20th century. He went on to direct 36 films, including feature films, documentaries and short films. He was also a fiction writer, a publisher, an illustrator, calligrapher, music composer, graphic designer and film critic. His professions make me breathless. He authored several short stories and novels primarily aimed at children and adolescents and most of his stories and films reflected the then societal picture. Patol Babu Film Star, written by Satyajit Ray. Patol Babu had just hung his shopping bag on his shoulder when Nishikanto Babu called from outside the main door. Patol, are you in? Uh, oh yes, said Patol Babu. Uh, just a minute. Nishikanto Ghosh lived three houses away from Patol Babu in Nepal Bhattacharji Lane. He was a genial person. Patol Babu came out with the bag. What brings you here so early in the morning? Listen, what time will you be back? In an hour or so, why? I hope you'll stay in after that. Today being Tagore's birthday, I met my youngest brother-in-law in Netaji Pharmacy yesterday. He is in the film business, in the production department. He said he was looking for an actor for a scene in a film they are now shooting. The way he described the character, 50-ish, short, bald-headed, it reminded me of you. So I gave him your address and I asked him to get in touch with you directly. I hope they won't turn you away. Uh, they'll pay you, of course. Patol Babu had not expected such news at the start of the day. That an offer to act in a film could come to a 50-year-old non-entity like him was beyond his wildest dreams. Well, yes or no? Asked Nishikanto Babu. I believe you did some acting on the stage at one time. That's true, said Patol Babu. I really don't see why I should say no, but let's talk to your brother-in-law first and find out some details. What's his name? Uh, Naresh. Naresh Dutt. He's about uh, 30. A strapping young fellow, he said he would be here around 10.30. At one time, Patol Babu had a real passion for the stage. In fact, it verged on obsession. In Jatras, in amateur theatricals, in plays put up by the club in his neighborhood, Patol Babu was always in demand. His name had appeared in handbills on countless occasions. Once it appeared in bold type near the top, Sita Lakanto Re, Patol Babu, in the role of Parasar. Indeed, there was a time when people bought tickets especially to see him. That was when he used to live in Kancharapara. He had a job in the railway factory there. In 1934, he was offered higher pay in a clerical post with Hudson and Kimberley in Calcutta and was also lucky to find a flat in Nepal Bhattacharji Lane. 
he gave up his factory job and came to Calcutta with his wife. It was quite smooth sailing for some years and Patol Babu was in his boss's good books. In 1943, when he was just toying with the idea of starting a club in his neighborhood, sudden retrenchment in his office due to the war cost him his nine-year-old job. And ever since then, Patol Babu had struggled to make a living. He first opened a variety store, which he had to wind up after five years. Then he took up a job in a Bengali firm, which he gave up in disgust when his boss began to treat him into high-handed a fashion. Then, for ten long years, starting as an insurance salesman, Patol Babu tried every means of earning a livelihood without ever succeeding in improving his lot. Of late, he has been paying regular visits to a small establishment dealing in scrap iron where a cousin of his has promised him a job. And acting? That has become a thing of the remote past. Having a good memory, Patol Babu still remembers lines from some of his better parts. So, in the first part of the story, we are introduced to the main character or the protagonist of the story, Patol Babu. One day, as Patol Babu is about to leave for the market, Nishikanto Ghosh, his neighbor, who lived three houses, you could say, away from Patol Babu's house in a street called Nepal Bhattacharji Lane, calls out to him. Now, Nishikanto inquires about the time Patol Babu would be back from the market and if Patol Babu would stay home only after that, as being Rabindranath Tagore's birthday, it is a holiday. We see that Nishikanto informs Patol Babu that his youngest brother-in-law was in the production department of a film company. And when they met the day before, his brother-in-law told him that he was looking for a sort of actor who was um, in his 50s, short and bald. Yeah? This description immediately reminded Nishikanto of Patol Babu, who seemed perfect for the role. He had given Patol Babu's reference to his brother-in-law and asked him to contact Patol directly. He even lured Patol by saying that he would be paid money for performing the role. Now, Nishikanto's proposal to act in a film at the age of 52 takes Patol Babu by complete surprise. And as he gets lost in his thoughts, Nishikanto interrupts Patol Babu's thoughts by asking him if he is interested in the offer. He also confirms that Patol Babu had been a stage artist in the past. Patol affirms that he had been a stage artist and had no reason to refuse the offer. Now, although before confirming, he asks for some details about Nishikanto's brother-in-law. He said that his brother-in-law's name was Naresh Dutt and he was a strapping young man of about 30 years. He would be coming to meet Patol around 10.30 that morning. Here, the author rewinds the story to Patol Babu's young days. Patol travels down memory lane to his golden days where he always had a great passion for the theater and in his youth, he had acted in many jatras or folk plays. Back then, he had been a very famous actor. The advertisements of the plays carried his original name Sita Lakanta Ray on the top. He had a huge fan following and people bought tickets especially to see him act. Now, he still remembered some of the dialogues of the plays he had acted in. Patol Babu used to be a stage actor when he lived in a town called Kanchrapara and worked at the railway factory there. Now, in 1934, he shifted to Calcutta, now Kolkata, and as he had secured a clerical job in a company called Hudson and Kimberley, he had bought a flat in Nepal Bhattacharji Lane, and he spent a comfortable nine years with this company. His boss liked him so much for his sincerity, he even increased his pay. But old Babu had the thought of starting an acting club in his neighborhood. However, the idea could not materialize. 
The company dismissed many of its employees, including Patol Babu, in order to reduce its expenditure. Now, we are talking about a time when World War II happened. Hmm? Yeah. During this period, many multinational companies had cut down costs as they incurred tremendous losses. Hudson and Kimberley was one of those companies. Since then, Patol Babu struggled to earn a living. He tried his luck at many things. He opened a store, worked in a Bengali firm as an insurance salesman, but things did not work in his favor and he had to close the store after five years and after 10 years of struggle, he gave up being an insurance salesman too. He even gave up a job he had in a Bengali firm when his boss began to treat him in a dominating manner. Recently, he has been regularly visiting small establishment firms dealing in scrap iron where a cousin of his has promised him a job. Well, for a person like Patol Babu, the role in the next film has to hold some importance. No wonder he seems so excited. But will this excitement last very long? Will Naresh Dutt visit Patol Babu? Let's see if Patol Babu is able to relive his acting days when he gets a chance to act in a film for the first time. Tutimate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store.